Hi everyone, this is Catherine, and welcome to my second YouTube video. Um, I thank you everybody for the comments and views on my first video, so I thought I would do a second. And today I'm going to do a Halloween card um, from scraps of paper that I already have. Um, take a piece of black cardstock and just fold it for the card base. And today in the mail I got um, the Avery L Custom Dies die set, which I was very excited about, so I knew I had to play right away. Um, so in fact, this just came in the mail about 20 minutes ago, so <laughs> I am on the ball. Um, I cut apart this die and it just makes a fun and interesting border, um, to the card. I, this was a piece of scrap paper that I've had probably forever. So I just ran it through my Sizzix like this and it creates just a fun and interesting border like that. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that on and then we will go ahead and build the rest of the card. So I'm going to put this aside for right now, and I decided to use this pumpkin. I got this out of the dollar bin at Michael's probably a million years ago. So I'm going to use it um, to stamp on the front of my card, and I'm going to use some white card stock. I'm using Nina because I'm going to use my Copics, and I'm using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So I'm going to ink up the stamp here. And just stamp it like that. And then the colors of Copics that I'm using today for the oranges, I am using Y02, Y04, and Y07. I thought this would be good for um, the pumpkin. So I'm going to start with my darkest color first, which is the Y07. And being careful not to get the jack lantern eyes because I'm going to color that with the yellow. Let me get my medium color, the Y04. It just kind of starts to blend that in. It's kind of hard to get around the jack o' lantern's mouth, but I'm doing the best I can. Well, see. And I'm going to take my lightest color here, which is the Y. Oh, in fact, this is YRO2, I apologize, and just kind of blend them in here to make the, a good color orange pumpkin. And to start with the eyes, I'm going to take my darkest color, which is the Y06. And blend him in with some Y02. And then for the stem, I just chose the one color since it was such a small area. Um, I'm using E18 for that. I went the other end. Okay, so that is all done. And I am just going to cut him out. And I'm not going to cut up right to the black line because I always mess up with that. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of a white border while I cut him out. And it should cut out pretty quickly. Still pretty new to the Copics, so I'm trying the best I can. But I think with more practice, you get better. Like they say, practice makes perfect. So I'm trying to use every opportunity I can to play with my Copics. So there I got the pumpkin cut out. So I'm going to put him here. And then I used um, the Sizzix. This was like the regal shape die um, just to cut out a piece of white cardstock. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some Distress Inks, and this is Black Soot, and my um, applicator. And I'm going to start off of the craft sheet and just kind of do like that. And I like how it makes the edges of it a little bit darker. Okay, so that was pretty easy. And then I'm going to use um, some foam squares and adhere my pumpkin on top of that. I'm going to use two of them. This 
This is a real quick and easy card. This is taking me about 10 minutes <laughs> altogether. Okay, so now I think he's ready. But first, before I do that, um, I want my sentiment to go right here because I think that's a good place for one. Um, I'm using another dollar stamp set that I got at Michael's probably years ago, a Halloween set, and I'm going to white emboss on that. So I'm going to use some Versamark ink. There we go. And then I've got some white embossing powder. And I learned this trick from Jennifer McGuire too. If you do it in a coffee filter, it is a lot easier for cleanup. So, and I'm all about easy cleanup. So just sprinkle some along that and flick off the excess. Now there is a little bit of embossing powder right there that I don't want. So I'm gonna take um, a paintbrush, just kind of brush it away. Brushed away a little too much. There we go, that looks good. And I'm going to heat emboss this. Sorry if I'm a little bit off camera right here. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to adhere the rest of this to my card. And there you have a very quick and easy Halloween card. So, and I, I will stamp a little bit on the inside too, or you can write with some white pen since this is black cardstock. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you again for watching. Continue to leave me some feedback so I know if I need to make any changes or anything. All right, and please visit my blog at katherineallen.blogspot.com. Thank you and have a good day.